Hey guys, it's January, it's snowy outside, and I figured let's use components to make a snowflake. Now, if this idea sounds familiar, like something you've seen before, that's definitely possible. So this concept was one of the first, the very first learning videos we put out on our YouTube channel. It was made by Tyson Karchner back, I don't know, like, over a decade ago and it is an awesome example of how components work and I just thought let's do it let's do that thing and uh, yeah there's still something to be learned from it and it seems appropriate so let's hop in let's do it right now all right so first thing I'm gonna do is um, I want to do this and I want to I want to put it around uh, what we're going to do is we're going to create a hexagon, a six-sided shape because, you know, snowflakes have six sides. And I want to do it on the ground right here at the origin. This isn't required, but I find a lot of times when I start making symmetrical things, if I can work from this one spot, it makes it a little bit easier for me. So I'm going to take uh, a line straight up the green axis like that. Um, I'm going to actually take out Teddy. And here's what we're going to do. I want to make one slice from, basically I want to take out one sixth of this and make it into a component and then copy it around. So I'm going to come right here and I'm going to go from here up to here. I'm going to go from here up to here. I'm just snapping from the middle point to the middles. So from the middle of the hexagon where I started at the origin up to the midpoints on these two sides. And I can delete this. So this is the piece that I want to mirror around. So I'm going to take this and I'm going to make component and I'm going to say this is a flake chunk. There we go. And apparently I'm going to yell it all in caps. So I'm going to take that now and I'm going to rotate it from the center from here. Option. Rotate to here. I'm going to say 5x and hit enter and there we go. Now Let's make things even simpler. So I'm going to go into one of these copies and I'm going to cut this copy in half and then get rid of this half over here. I'm going to take that and make that into a new component. Um, half chunk. All right. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take that and I'm going to mirror that your command to right there. All right, so there we go. So now all I have to do is come into this one piece, make my snowflake shape, and it's gonna show up in all the other pieces. So let's go ahead, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna just make some shapes here. I'm gonna try to do something, I don't know. I've, I've, I've done this process of making a snowflake multiple times. Like I said, the first time I did this, I did it because I saw Tyson's video on how to do this and I thought it was cool and I wanted to try it. So, uh, but every time I do it, I'm like, what does a snowflake look like again? Like, you know, it's one of those things that honestly, I don't have a lot of context for. I don't pay a whole lot of attention to snowflakes in general, but, uh, but yeah, I, uh, I always struggle a little bit to remember what a snowflake looks like when I have to <laughs> recall one <laughs> from scratch. So, this is my version of something like a snowflake. So I'm just inferencing. I'm doing some parallel, some, uh, oh, you know what we should do? Let's go here to the middle and uh, do something like this. So I'm going to go from this point to here. And, no, you know what I'm going to do is, I, I, I appreciate that you're playing along as I argue with myself about what I should or shouldn't do. Um, yeah, that's... That makes me feel nice. Appreciate you guys just being there for me like that. Uh, all right, we're gonna put another piece right here. I feel like I don't know. At this point, I'm feeling like maybe I should have spent a little bit of time just looking at some snowflakes. I know they're not, uh, you know, perfectly symmetrical and stuff like that. So um, I'm actually gonna make a change here. I'm gonna bring this down further like this instead of going all the way up like that and then I'm going to delete some of these outside parts and then like that 
And with that, we have a six-sided uh, snowflake. Pretty quick, pretty easy, but I don't like all these edges on the inside. In fact, I wanna go in and I wanna like put a hole in the middle too. So I'm gonna double click to go into a chunk, double click to go into a half a chunk. And uh, I'm just gonna go do something like this. And then erase those pieces. No, that was a little too big. I, I got too big there. All right, let's try this like that. There we go. Give that opening there at the bottom. And the other thing I wanna do is I wanna make sure there's, I want even seams here. So I am going to grab my eraser and I'm gonna hold down shift. Shift is going to allow me to hide the edges. So there's still edges there. There we go, if you look at that, you can see the grayed out portion versus this portion. And if we actually go to view hidden edges, hidden geometry, we'll see the dotted lines there. But because I hid them from view, it looks like it's all one big piece. So if I click out now, there we go. Pretty quick, pretty easy. I have a simple, easy to do snowflake. Let's uh, probably the last thing to do would be to grab all these pieces and make it a group in and of itself. That way you can do stuff like get that rotated up and then I still have to put it back on the axis. put it over here. But there you go, simple snowflake. I could always come in here and do some stuff too, like maybe I'd go into one of these pieces and give it a little bit of depth, something like that. Might look kind of cool too. Yeah, quick, easy to make snowflake. Um, actually, when I did that, I, I uh, realized there's some edges I still have, so I'm going to come in here and uh, shift erase, whoops, shift erase that edge as well, and then There we go. Quick and easy 3D snowflake from a single piece. So if I come in here, all that just came off of this one piece. So yeah, that was that was a pretty quick uh, example, quick quick model. But uh, it's the new year. We're just getting rolling again. And uh, I mean, you guys are, I'm trying to take it easy on you. I'm not trying to go too advanced, you know, anything like that. But I just want to show that and remind you of that. I'm going to try to find and link to the original file. So I would love to hear you guys, uh, you know, your thoughts on the original, thoughts on this. Let me know what you think of that first one. And let me know if you've tried this. If you've done this before, uh, this is a perfect example of how components work, especially when you talk about mirror array and then uh, you know flipping a component, that kind of stuff. But uh, if you do it right, it's less work to create more stuff. And with repetitive geometry like this, it makes it super easy to do. If you like that video, click like down below. And if you haven't already, please do subscribe. We create several videos each and every week around here, and you'll be notified of all of them if you subscribe. Most importantly though, please leave us a comment down below. Have you done this? Have, do you remember the original video? Or do you have some other ideas, totally unrelated to this, that you think would make good videos? The, the good, good lessons we could show on our YouTube channel. We like making these videos a lot. We like them even more when they're showing something you wanna see. Thank you.